When the Take and Eat program at Blessed Sacrament Parish in Greenfield was discontinued due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Deacon John Leary approached the Western Mass Food Bank to create an expanded drive-through grocery program offering free bags of food. With a brand new parish center for their use, parishioners said it was time to share their good fortune with those in need. David Martin brings us the story. The food pantry at Blessed Sacrament Parish in Greenfield continues to grow thanks to donations from the Western Mass Food Bank and parishioners. Deacon John Leary is pleased the needy can visit the church and choose their own groceries, thus fighting hunger and poverty in the community. Now we have a reinvigoration of what's going on around here. We're going to take advantage of that. And we're going to move in a different direction, in a positive direction, so that people feel the love of Jesus Christ through the Catholic community of Greenfield here in Franklin County. Those welcomed into the food pantry are allowed to take whatever amount they wish. The parish hopes to offer love, dignity, and respect to those in need in the Greenfield community. Deacon Leary explained that during the COVID-19 pandemic, there are no restrictions from the federal government for quantities of groceries available or the income levels of those who benefit. Since the parish center includes a refrigerator and freezer, they can offer produce, dairy, and meat products. But this is something that I know that's going to uh, take off in such a way that maybe we're going to be able to transform what people think and what people do about food pantries. Deacon Leary's wife, Donna, is approached by people asking what food is needed each week, depending on provisions received from the Western Mass Food Bank. Parishioners drop off donations during Mass, and she will sort and stack them on shelves. She observes the economic desperation people are going through during these difficult times. And you get to know more about the people of the community and what they need. And me, I work more in the pantry itself and giving out food to the, to the community. Um, so I see the people and I can tell who needs what. Donna, a religious education teacher at Blessed Sacrament, trains volunteers to be more sensitive to those who visit the food pantry. Only one group or family is allowed in at a time. Kristen Henry, a Greenfield Community College student who has economic troubles, is grateful for the volunteers who are available to help the needy in this process. So that if you know, they come here on the days that they're open, they can get things to feed the family and, or their neighbors if their neighbors come to and they can spread the words that people at least have access to food. The hours of operation are Saturday 9 a.m. until noon, Tuesday noon until 3 p.m. and Thursday 3 to 6 p.m. Deacon Leary reminded that Springfield Bishop William Byrne has called for a year of the Eucharist so catering to people from all different backgrounds is like becoming more Christ-like when consuming the Eucharist at Mass. I need to do what Jesus would do. I need, to, I need to reach out to everyone, not just believers, not just Catholics, not just people that think like me, not just people that look like me, not just people that believe like me. Everyone is welcome here. As a pro-life parish, Deacon Leary wants the Blessed Sacrament Food Pantry to protect life beyond the womb, offering diapers, baby formula, and infant clothing for struggling new mothers. He also plans to create a website where the homebound make selections from a menu emailed to drivers who make home deliveries. For Real to Real, I'm David Martin. Deacon Leary said if anyone knows of a family in crisis, they can contact him through his Facebook page or call the parish offices at 413-773-3311. Someone will be available to address that need.